So I'm sitting down today with Frances Watts, um, who's come in to sign um, some copies of her latest book. Latest book. Thank you. Um, so, Frances, um, what was the last book you read and uh, what are you currently reading? Okay, the last book I read, um, Animal People by Charlotte Wood, fantastic local author, um, brilliant, sharply observed, witty, excellent characterisation, really enjoyed that. And I'm currently reading Anne Patchett's State of Wonder because her book Bel Canto was one of my favourite ever books. Brilliant. Uh, so tell us about your latest book. Latest book, Spies of Duranda, is the second book. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, great product placement. Is uh, the second book in a trilogy. It's uh, a tale of courage, friendship, adventure, spies, double crossing, uh, lots of humour, and quite a bit of cheese because you might have noticed there's a mouse on the cover. Uh, where did the uh, the idea for the trilogy, The Spies of Duranda, where did that come from? I suppose that. The, well, the long story, which I'll tell in a short way, is that I was just watching the news one night and I saw one of those reports on a, a war, a, a large powerful country invading a smaller, less powerful country, and I was wondering about how kids must process this information, and I started to, to remember the books that I read as a kid, um, a, a lot of which were set around the Second World War, and I loved... Um, the characterisation, I suppose, how ordinary people respond to extraordinary circumstances. And so that made me think a lot about, about courage, about uh, justice, integrity, uh, and about having the courage to stand up for your beliefs. So that was the, the basis of it. But I was also thinking very much about the kinds of books that I loved to read when I was a child, and I suppose I still love to read, which is, which is you know, books with a bit of humour, with characters that you care about, books that are, that are exciting and fast-paced, but also, you know, reflect on important questions. And so I decided to try to write that, and it became a trilogy, because obviously that's a lot to capture. <laughs> Brilliant. How, what, what sort of reaction have you gotten from readers? It's been really interesting because, you know, my background uh, has been in picture books and this is probably the first longer fiction that I've written and it has been fantastic to get more and more emails from kids saying, when's the next one coming out? We can't wait. And <laughs> that is very exciting and very gratifying. So uh, it's, it's... And it, of course, makes you want to read more, which is great. Was write it... more, too. Sure. Was it challenging to work in a, in a longer form? Or? It was challenging. It also felt quite natural in a way, I think, because I love words, I love language, I love story. And to have the freedom to invent such a big story, so many characters, such a big world, was liberating. While at the same time, there's all the challenges of you know, making sure the pace works, um, making the plot intricate, uh, and, but still being able to kind of you know, tie all the threads together at the right time. Uh, and getting the character development happening too. So it was, it was challenging, but it's also been the most rewarding thing I've done writing-wise, I think. Excellent. So um, what book from your bookshelf at home is your most treasured and, and why? Mm, most tre Well, ooh, it's hard to pin that down, but let's say, mm -hmm. well, Bell Canto by Anne Patchett was one of them. But the one I'm thinking of at the moment, if anyone says to me at the moment, what's the best book you've ever read, uh, I almost can winnow it down to Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. I oh. think that is an absolutely towering achievement. Yeah, interesting so, choice. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, which fictional character do you most identify with? Lee Hobbs wrote a book called Mr. Chicken Goes to Paris. <laughs> I identify with Mr. Chicken, <laughs> although that's wishful thinking. Good answer. <laughs> and uh, what are you working on next? I'm working on number three. Of course. Yes. And how's that going? <laughs> Thank you, it's going very well, she says in a high anxious voice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, deadline's not for ages, I'm sure. <laughs> next month. <laughs> yes, so, it's going well, well, thank you. <laughs> well, Frances Watts is also now on our um, immortalised on our uh, name wall here at Shearer's with right. all these other people. Uh, so thanks for dropping by and um, good luck with the books. Thank you very much. <laughs>